Hello everyone, my name is Luke Pies, and this is the command block module More Ender Dragon Drops. This module grants the ability for the Ender Dragon to drop custom items, including preset items such as Elytra, a Dragon Head and a Dragon Egg. Upon killing the Ender Dragon, items will be summoned above the center of the exit end portal. Even though the module comes pre-installed with drops, these can be simply disabled by toggling the command blocks in the chain to Needs Redstone. The module is not limited to items or blocks. Extra events or actions can be linked up to the command blocks upon the death of the dragon. This is intended for advanced users or users who are familiar with command blocks. To add new drops, simply use the command which can be found in the description below. You will need to be familiar with commands for this. Slash execute at e tag equals mcp underscore e dragon drops followed by the summon command or any action command you are intending to use. I recommend summoning the items two blocks above the armor stand to avoid it being pushed around by any blocks you may be setting in its place. Do remember that you are not required to add more drops to this module as it comes pre-installed with an elytra, a dragon head and a dragon egg, all of which can be disabled to fit your needs. For example, on the existence SMP server, the dragon head is disabled, allowing it to remain a rare item. A list of all compatible Minecraft versions can be found in the description below for this module. The module can be installed in one of two ways. Both require the module to be installed in the spawn chunks of your world. The first and most direct way is using the one click command linked in the description. Simply paste the command into an impulse command block and set it to always active. The module will then generate in the positive x and z directions. The only requirement for this is that the impulse command block must have clearance above it to allow for the module to install. The second option is using structure blocks. For this you will need to download the structure file in the description and place it in the structures folder of your world. This structure's layout differs from the one click. It has a flat pack design allowing it to be installed under bedrock. Before loading in the structure, you will need to do the following game rule commands. Slash game rule command block output false and slash game rule log admin commands false. This will stop spanning of the chat and console by the module. Note that these game rules are set automatically when installing with the one click command. Once you have downloaded the file, place down a structure block and set it to load mode. Then enter the structure name. For this module it is mcp underscore more ender dragon drops followed by the version number. For example mcp underscore more ender dragon drops 2 underscore 1. I recommend loading it in the relative position of 2 0 0. However you can change this to fit your needs. After click load to preview the position and then click load once again to generate the module. Note that this module does not require include entities. The module should now be functional. If you have any problems with the module, do not hesitate to ask for help either in the comments of this video or on my Discord server. In the description you will find links for the latest versions and previous versions. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.